Hello everyone, I'm Ultimate Mantoid, and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia Blind. What in the... I'll give you a sacrifice, just... Calm yourself. Beast, be still! Who is upstairs? So, we need to find chemicals. I need to find the key to the cellar, first of all. Okay, so I know the chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. We need the key to get into the wine cellar. Four chemicals can create a powerful acid, which is probably what is going to uh, eradicate that tissue thing that... Uh, I'm scared to... Let's see. You have to get out of there. That's what I'm doing. back to the entrance hall. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. Let's go back up the stairs. That's been boarded off. rocks there. Well, that set of stairs collapsed. Let's board it up to, hey! Tinder box! Tender! Go to the archives, see if we can find anything there. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. It was weird, it told me that it stopped uh, responding. Libri Rari. I'm assuming that's Latin. It does say rare books, so. Catalogi catalogs. We'll go into the rare books first. No, oh, nothing unusual. That's a big spider web. Hey, there's a note. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Cool. Lone book by itself. I'll put you with other books. There 
right in there. Anything in here? Nope. Close. Open. That same picture again. Hey! This is a little statue. You are too cool to be up there. You should go on the table. Well, get on the table. Yes. Alright, so nothing in the rare book room. Let's go into the catalog archive. This room's kind of dark. still okay. Paper. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian royal court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garage. Ah, oh, man, my ear itches. Alright. So, this guy signed himself... Servitude to, um... Man, this game keeps you on your toes, that's for sure. Keep hearing people. The study. I heard talking. Shirts. Don't need those. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it. And as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Well, that's no good. Don't mind if I take your tinderbox. Let me just hold your tender box. <laughs> oh, bad joke is bad. Wow, that's a lot of books. What 
it's down that one hallway back here. Sorry if I don't have a whole lot to say. This is... So this is blind, so I'm not really sure what to say. Right now, my commentary probably sucks. Hey, a piano. What the... It just fell on its own. Big painting. What the? What was that noise? Twigs. Too much D and D, son. Hey, why is there? Hmm. That sound is not. Very huh, reassuring. Slide that out of the way. Oil. I would like to play the piano, except I can't. I don't know how. True story, actually, I really do wish I knew how to play a piano. Floor plans. I think I'm gonna actually just like that instead. Now I'm getting hiccups. Great! What the? Are you... Okay, well I just got completely sealed off. Let's find a new way out of this area. No shit. Oh my god. Hey! Frank! I found you! How'd you get here? Fred. Yeah, that was it. Fred. Or was it? What? I can't remember now. I really am losing my mind. I'll be okay. I got you now. What's back there? You wanna help me look? I'm not too sure. You'll come in here with me and protect me, right? Stay there. Central Prussia. Kingdom of Prussia. I'm so glad they're giving me tons of tender boxes. A book. I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint 
blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh, I have control. And yes, I am playing this in the dark. I don't know if I mentioned that at any point. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Okay, so I will just keep walking to the light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. Oh, that's the faint bright. glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay, well, I just had an out-of-body experience. My head is pounding and hands are shaking. Sanity is... not good. Help me. I'm carrying you with me. Well, that was my headset wire. I was like, what is that on my leg? <laughs> this is fun. Floor plans. Well, what good are you? You can't even break through the... I give up. Some friend you are. is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Great, so that cave-in... What is going on? Okay, so we have the east wing and the western hall. Um, who's playing the piano? I have a helmet. You don't scare me. Okay, so I need to find another way out. There we go. You'll help me, won't you? Look inside. Tell me what you see. Anything good? I keep having this.
Is there a way I can climb up there? I guess not. Well, how am I going to get out? Fragile, but not breakable by hand, huh? Hey! You did help me get through. I need to get over somehow. Is it in the bookshelf? There has to be no open. Clutz. through there. How am I supposed to fit through there? Something else I'm missing? There we go. I forgot there's a jump button to this game. God, I feel like an idiot. What in the... You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Nice home. Right there. Let's go ahead and light this room up a bit more. Man, this place is dark. Hey, what's this book for? Oh, it's already broke. Well, I feel foolish. Local folklore. Altstad in Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lures is Altstad, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local 
and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversation, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motives that keep reappearing. The Gatherers This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls and have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks, dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Aldstad at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records at uh, in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brunnenberg lives a, recluse, a reclusive life with his family at, the, at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Interesting lore. We will put you there. Anything I might need out of here? And I realize it's getting close to 30 minutes again, so video will end really soon. Wait a second! Oh, it's locked, huh? Alright, come with me. I'll sit you on the tip. Hey, a key! Wine cellar key. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. Okay. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. 
The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. What an asshole is all I have to say. I guess I can't get in there. I have the wine cellar key. I need to end the video like now. So, yeah. I will uh, see you guys next time. Uh, let's get back in here. Yeah. Oh, what the? This is open. history alright I'll end this video as soon as I check this drawer and light that torch so I have some form of light oh if, wait yes I can reach it haha -ha. alright right here looks like a good stopping place I hope anyways I'll see you guys next time I'm Ultima Mantoid this is Let's Play Amnesia uh, till next time take care and have fun